comes from a plant root called camellia. Now, of course, there's an oxidation process. Basically, when you get oxygen, it gets in contact with enzymes. You start to understand that it starts to develop a little bit of caffeine. Now, each country does it differently. Now, in green teas, it's partially oxidized, so you get a little bit of caffeine. And white teas, no, unoxidized at all, so you get no caffeine. Any other tea that you would see in a tea book dictionary or in a tea house is going to be in the tea family. You have chrysanthemums, chamomiles, toussaints, teas like that. And certain teas are designed to be put on ice, and that's just a wonderful thing about teas. Well, the legend, one of the legend is a Chinese legend where it says that this guy was uh, sleeping in the forest, and then. Um, at tea leaf uh, from a tea bush fell into his pot with boiling water so then um, after drinking the infusion he found out that the, that plant had a relaxing effect on him, a calming effect. So that's uh, how tea started supposedly, that's one of the legends. Um, most of our teas come from China, uh, Japan, India, uh, Sri Lanka, Taiwan, uh, Africa. Some herbal teas come from uh, Germany, uh, Egypt and the uh, US, uh, also South America. Yeah. Welcome to the last tasting of the year. It's tea time. Today we are making zesty lemon tea. Let's harvest. Woo. Today we're gonna harvest some herbs from our, from our garden. We only harvest herbs in the morning. Sometimes you can harvest with scissors. Flowery notes are one of the most basic things when you're making tea. Um, it's when you gather flowers or other plants to make your tea taste better or smell better. So today we're going to be using some lemongrass, as you can see here. And a good note to remember is that you should cut between uh, blades so that it helps the plants grow and make sure that the blades that you're cutting are are younger ones so they're greener and less red as you can see on the plant. Now we add the fruitiness to our tea. It's like sweet and lemony and today we're going to be using lemon verbena. I'm going to show you how to harvest it. So like right before that like bunch of leaves, we are going to snip it. Oops. And the reason why I cut it right before those leaves is so it can keep on growing and make a new little plant. So now we're gonna be adding the placeholder flavor. And that's gonna tie everything together in the tea. So when you add ice cubes to the tea, it won't water it down. And we're gonna be using uh, lemon thyme, but you can use dried raspberry leaves or dried nettle nettle leaves. Um, and to cut the plant, uh, see this like uh, this like uh, like bigger branch than these. You don't want to cut that because it has no flavor. So you want to cut the smaller ones like that, not like that, but like that. So so um, so you. Uh, have the most flavor in the smallest amount of plant. Our last is the cooling herb. And the cooling herb that we have today is lemon balm. And we like to use it because it's refreshing and um, it tastes good. So we're going to show you how to harvest some. So you try to get good big, big leaves and you try to get them together. It's less time. And Try to go around the small ones, baby leaves, so they can keep growing. And, yeah. Let's blend our tea. So today we are using a measurement called a part. A part can be anything, a spoonful, a handful, a cupful. Um, two parts would be the same thing, but two, so it would be two spoonfuls, two cupfuls, and two handfuls. So for our flowery note, we will be using one part of lemongrass. For our fruity note, we will be using one part of lemon, lemon verbena. And 
now for our uh, placeholder note, it's going to be two parts lemon time. For our cooling note, we will have one part mint and one part lemon balm. Let's steep our tea. And it has steeped. Let's see what we have. And who's ready for some tea? Me. Okay. One at a time. So I'm going to start at my right and work my way around, okay? So take my cup back. And let's not, let's not start until everybody has some. That way we can all enjoy it together. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know. That looks really good. 